We are at Air Venture, getting close to the end of the week now. It's been a busy week, I understand. And um, Pete, you're the representative of Jabiru in the USA, and things have turned around and gotten a lot better for you, I understand. Yeah, it's really picked up, especially sales of airplanes. Um, we had a little change during the last year and that Jabber USA is not manufacturing them anymore, but we're bringing them in manufactured by Jabber Australia. Okay. Uh, the net result has been a, about a $25,000 decrease in the selling price. Whoa, that's pretty significant. Uh, for an airplane that has been redesigned a little bit and is now more stable and faster than it's ever been. Uh, so we're... Uh, Wow, that's that's a we're lot really, right there. We're really pleased with what we're seeing coming in uh, from uh, Jabiru Australia's manufacturer. The airplane's actually manufactured by the uh, South African Jabiru agent who has his own molds there and, and uh, has been doing a good job for the last seven or eight years manufacturing Jabiru's. So he's been doing this, or you hinted at this earlier yeah. about something with South Africa. There's, but they've been building them fully there under yes. an agreement with Australia. Right. But and to do LSA in the USA and have FAA, I think I got enough alphabet there, uh, to be happy about that, how does that all work, Pete? You've been through the mill with this well, already. You know this stuff well. So. Yeah. Um, Jabiru South Africa is written into Jabiru Australia's quality assurance plan. Ah, okay, it's right in the plan. Australia goes over to South Africa once a year and audits their supplier. Uh, recently, CASA, the Australian FAA, okay. did their very first light sport compliance audit on Jabiru Australia. Is that right? Yeah, they had uh, four guys there for four days going through every little thing they could. But uh, you know, South Africa has been doing a very good job, and in fact, there are more Jabiru's flying in South Africa than there are single-engine Cessnas. <laughs> That's it. Repeat that fact. That's an interesting fact. Yeah. He's produced uh, over 300 of them, and there's more, wow. more, more Jabiru's flying in South Africa than single-engine Cessnas. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. Yeah. Now, that's probably not Cessna's biggest market, but that's pretty significant. And 300 airplanes then, well, you're pretty confident about what's coming in then. Yeah, I think they know what they're doing. Their fiberglass work has been excellent. We get them all So painted. they're actually doing the mold, they're doing the whole thing They're doing thing the molding then. right from they're the get-go. They're getting raw fiberglass and going from there. Yeah, the, uh, the metal parts, the machine parts and so forth, they're done in Australia and sent over to South Africa okay. along with the engine. Which is all permitted so, uh, under know, the LSA yeah, program. Yeah, wheels and brakes and fittings and so forth, they're still done in Australia. But uh, yeah, it's been really good. They paint them in Australia and you know, the paint jobs are good. Uh, it's so far been a, a, a pleasant... Uh, how, many have you, how many have you already received from them? We have received these things you just said? two and the third one will arrive next week. Okay. Uh, right now we get one a month. Uh, we're, they're working to increase that to two a month. Uh, so I think for 2015 we'll have an allotment of two per month. And if the market remains strong, he has the ability to increase production. Australia now is getting cranked up because they're, uh, not all, but they have airplane production now going to China. Yeah, yeah. So China is stepping in there and keeping Australia busy on an airplane uh, manufacturing business. So, and then we're stepping in with South Africa and giving them a little boost. So it's, uh, Pretty uh, worldwide cosmopolitan. Yeah, deal no now. kidding. Uh, that's uh, that's an interesting phenomenon. You said that uh, the airplane is performing better. How yes. is that happening, Pete? Uh, a couple of things. The J230D has a different tail on it. It's uh, thicker, more swept, and it's an airfoil shape where the old tail used to be a flat-sided tail. Uh, and Jabiru used to be known as quite a, a rudder airplane. Uh, you had to lead with rudder, it took uh -huh. a lot of rudder uh, climbing out, uh, a lot of right foot. Uh, now, climbing out is almost no right foot. Is that right? Well, that's a pretty fact, significant I have a hard, change then. I got a hard time getting used to that. I'm still pushing too hard Get your on feet that back rudder off, all the time. Huh? Okay. But you can trim this out for a level flight on the autopilot and put uh, the hands in your lap and feet on the floor and you can turn the uh, heading knob 90 degrees and the airplane turns 
all by itself, and the ball is never more than a quarter ball out. Is that right? Yeah. Wow. It's, uh, it, so you're getting some more performance boost out of the airplane. Um, how are you achieving? How, how are you seeing some of that change, Pete? Well, some of the change uh, is from Jabru's new uh, scimitar composite propeller. Doing their own uh, prop? Yes. Uh, it, wow. It's a, a joint effort between Jabru and an Australian prop maker called Bali Props. Okay. And uh, what it's done, um, on a hot day in Shelbyville, Tennessee, at full gross, I can get over a thousand feet a minute climb. Wow. The, then, you know, at sea level, it's still 120 knots at max continuous RPM. But there's a bigger change as you go up. True air speed at 8,500 feet, I'm reading 125 knots now, where I used to read 122 or 23. If, you know, this is a higher aspect ratio wing, it gets a little more efficient up high. Sure. So uh, we get just a little more out of it. So it's been one of the performers in the fleet for a long time, and now you just amp that up a little bit more. Yeah. We made the airplane better, and we made the price lower. You said a $25,000 reduction? Right. I'm going to ask that again just to make sure I heard right. In 2013, the last five of the USA-built J230s went for about $155,000. Okay. And That's pretty well loaded up, I guess. Yeah, yeah, pretty well loaded. Now, this is pretty well loaded as a base airplane at $128,900. Wow. Uh, and throw on an autopilot, you're still at 133,000 and change. And this is a product of the South African folks, after 300 airplanes, they've just gotten that good at it that they can restrain the yeah, cost? Yeah, well, we do the instruments okay. here in the USA because what they're using for instruments in South Africa is not what our market really is yeah, looking for, I I, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, so we do the instruments and you know we used to uh, put dual displays in the panel. We don't do that anymore because Everybody needs room for their iPad or their Android pad <laughs> with ForeFlight or some of these other, other uh, They've nifty, swept into the market. Really nifty. Uh, so you got a mount in the airplane that uh, yeah, holds one of those tablet there, computers? And uh, all we need is for the uh, owner to supply his iPad or Android pad. And uh, it's, uh, it communicates with the EFIS by either Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Wow. So you know, there's no wiring. Uh, well, that so makes it so he can pull that thing out, do his flight planning yeah, at do night. Do flight planning at home, bring it in, plug it in there, uh, send the flight plan by Bluetooth or Wi-Fi to the <laughs> EFIS, and uh, turn the key, and away you go. Beautiful, beautiful. A lot of great information, Pete. Thanks for bringing us up to speed, and I'm so pleased to hear about uh, business nicely improved. We're hearing that kind of throughout the industry a little bit, so boy, we all got our fingers crossed because it's been a tough period. But I'm really yeah. pleased to hear things are back. Yeah. And my goodness, at those price points, I don't see it slowing down for you. So better yep. better get the whip cracking over your South African buddies there and say, we're, build me some more airplanes. We're trying. <laughs> we are trying, that's for sure. Very good, Pete. Lots of, a lot, a lot of good information here, but where can we go on the web to contact you to ask more questions, to get latest price information, and so on? Uh, it's Our website is usjabaroo.com. Okay, very good. We'll have it up for people to see. Um, we're here at Air Venture. I'm talking with Pete Karate. I'm Dan Johnson. You can find lots more about Pete's airplanes and lots of other airplanes on bydanjohnson.com or bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for joining Pete and me here at Air Venture.